Hello everybody, Devil Talk 73 here again. I tried to stream this, but it wouldn't let me connect. I don't know why. We're just going to see if I can uh, catch some catfish. Big old blues off the dock. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Here's what we're going to be using. We use our four bottom rods, all the same. Deep crawler. Excuse me, heavy chaser. 10 feet, 2 inches, Ambusher 9500, Fluoro 025, 8-ounce sinker, O2 monoliter, a 7-aught hook, large cut bait. Let's make sure we got 7s on all of them. Yeah, okay. A default leader, okay. So, uh, let's go in here. Let's go fishing minimize this we had to go into a <coughs> friends only room and go out here to the platform and put a rod stand down and see if we can catch some catfish Eyes in the dark. Got two good night peaks in a row, nine to eleven. So we'll uh, we'll work them and see what we can do. Okay, get a rod stand down. till nine o'clock. See if we can catch some blues, maybe a few sturgeon. I like to cast out here about 55 feet, give or take. That ain't gonna get it. <laughs> uh, come on now. I like to overcast, really. And river back. There we go. Last time I fished here, if you saw that. <clears throat> keeper I just sold I filled it up a little over an hour I just kept on fishing and caught four more unis if it didn't have any where to put them I love the way them things change color on their own that number six supposed to be green Looks yellow to me. Now I turn my light off so I can see the lines better. That line moves when you set that hook. the first one. The fish in these peaks, it don't matter whether it's partly cloudy, cloudy, or clear. Action's about the same. Go 
those again. And you'll notice, or I've noticed that <coughs> strange is that they seem to prefer a different time one rod over another. I don't know why. But you get more action off one rod over another. Just the way things are. We'll just keep on catching them, I guess. As long as they'll, as long as they'll take the bait. the action with cats it's not every once in a while there you go you need a sturgeon to help bring the bankroll up more <laughs> they pay a little more per pound than the bees. But it all counts. And you don't have to have four bottom rods to have fun doing it. You can do this with bobbers too. Just get a good, pretty good sized rig. You need one at least 22 pounds. Because they'll, uh, they get pretty big here. They get up 91, 92 pounds here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still trying to break up this bronchitis. Well, I hear you, but I don't see nothing. There we go. That was awful quiet. It's just a little fish. We'll take off here and just see. There we go. like fishing in Russia or UK or Germany or one of those. A little slower over there. It's fun too. Just slower. Fish for five or six game hours to fill up your keeper. Here you can do it a whole lot faster. And if you want to level up, earn cash and XP, catfish are good if you're not a level 30 or above where you can go to California and do it with sturgeon. Sturgeon is still more cash, more XP. But if you can't go to California yet, come to Michigan. Or go to Louisiana, get the biggest rig you can. If you're like level 28 or down, use crawfish. Uh, seven odd hook, 18 inch leader. Go to swampy open spaces, fish out 75 feet out and 18 inches down with a bobber, a single rod, and just keep on catching gar. Now, if you if you've got a small keeper, 190 pounds or so, when you fill it up, just keep on catching. Uh, there's no penalty. You get the XP, you just don't get the money. That's the way to do it. Just keep on catching to the time, till the peak time runs out. From 9 to 11, uh, 11 to 1, 3 to 5. 
Don't let there's a sturgeon. Don't let a time run over five o'clock or it'll cost you a coin to get back in there at the night peak. Same thing here. Once that initial cool down period goes, <coughs> you can go from night to night, not have to use coins. three in a while. Let's do this. It's something I like to do. If the rod's not producing, bring it up, reset it. Sometimes that sparks a little action. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But if you don't try, you never know. If you like my videos, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, leave me a comment, good or bad. I read them all or try to read them all. And uh, all I want to do is, is help you catch more and bigger fish. So that's all. That's what I'm trying to do, catch more fish. I like to catch little fish too. I like to go to California every once in a while and fish over off the boat dock and catch brim with a size one hook and corn and just you can watch them come out from underneath it I mean you use a 10 inch leader and you can watch them come out from underneath the dock and hit the hit the, uh, the bait it's, I just think it's cool decent looking fish yeah decent looking fish any uni is a decent looking fish ain't it Now, I'm not saying that by me resetting that number three rod is why I caught that fish, but it stirred up some action, didn't it? I like blues. There, there's action. Sometimes it slows down, but not for long. And the money's decent. A lot of people like to farm pike. The problem with that is they're small and it takes so long to fill your net. And they say, well, you know, you make more money when you fill your net with pike. Well, that's true too. But if it takes me Let's see, we've got, we'll have 
almost 400 pounds here before an hour is up. And if you've got a 440 pound keeper, it, about every hour, you'll be extending and going again. And you're gonna make about 20 to 18 to 20 thousand dollars. Okay, if you, you're not gonna catch that many pike in that hour to wind up with that same amount of money. So I'm extending and catching again while you're still trying to fill your net. Now, I don't have premium and uh, if I if I get $20,000 for a full keeper in an hour and you get 57,000 for a full keeper in three hours or more, then I, I'm ahead of the game because I'm I'm turning over faster. My money is accumulating faster. And I'm getting closer and closer and closer to catching that 90 pound blue, <laughs> which I don't have yet. See every fish you come in, I'm thinking, oh, is it, is it, come on, is it, is that 90 pounder? Come on, 90 pounder. Took me over a year to catch my 70 pound clear muskie. Take me a lot longer than that to catch this 90 pound blue. 90 pound plus. But it'll come sooner or later. I fished in this salmon clash the other night up in Alaska. Didn't do the greatest. Wound up like 20th, I believe. But I was watching one of the guys, or two of the guys, really. Man, they were catching uni sockeyes, one right after another. It just, wow. I mean, I didn't know they spawned that fast. They were catching one right after another. They figured something out. One of them came in first, and came in second, like two points, four points behind. That was it. And that's, that's, when you get up near 200 points in that competition, two or four points, is, that's there between a, a uni pink, something like that. Man, they were catching, because all you can catch is trophy or uni. That's what counts your points. line movement to know there's something on there. Bad as my eyes are, it's hard for me to see it though. And it goes like that, I don't have to worry about it. About time for another uni, isn't it? Good Lord willing and the creeks don't rise. Not a sturgeon. Nope. <laughs> I knew better because it didn't. Sturgeon, when they, they got a bad habit, a oh, good habit, bad habit, of topping the water when they're coming in. What in the world was that? Do 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 
I'm like an actual house copy, so. Just about got the sturgeon figured out in California at night. Last time I was out there, I filled my net 660 pounds, or 674 pounds, in uh, just barely over 55 minutes. That impressed me. <laughs> made me happy. There we go. Ooh, a nice one. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. See, yellow's nice. Anything over 80 pounds is very nice. There's Latin Mike joining. Hey, Mike. Hello everyone. We're on the TV here. <laughs> I believe that's right. Here's a sturgeon. What's up? So just farming. Yeah, there's only two of us in here. <coughs> he come out here to join us on the platform. I only need one more fish to fill. He said they nerfed California. They win. I mean, they messed up the fishing. Hey, buddy. I'm just fishing. It was a mistake. Yeah. No, it's, it's, I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking, though. Thank you, buddy. Love you. Bye. That's one of my older sons. Check on my bronchitis.
Can you give me a mark? So where's it at? This will fill in that. Oh, I see. They're not there in front of us. Is that there? That's the mark he shared. I already had this, and that one's there now. So, okay, we got a full net, so we're going to. Gotta bring them all in <laughs> first. Yeah. We'll do one more. I realized we only caught two unis that time, didn't we? Another mark? He shared another mark with me. Okay, we'll see where it is. Three thousand. Didn't cost me no premium either. I don't like to hurt anybody's feelings. If they want to help me, I'll take their help. Anytime they want to send me any marks, I'll take the marks. As long as I've got enough buoys, I can put it out there. You see, you saw that 83 pounder I caught right over here where I'm fishing. One of the marks is for 70 pounder and the other for 60. But that's unis. I tried to go live with this and it wouldn't connect. I don't know why. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't.
taught him a uni. Way to go. You see how long that fish has been on there? trophy. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the sturgeons are nice when we're here just fishing. They don't bother us. They add money to the to the kitty. But when you're out here in that turn that competition, uh, night catchers, it's not a good thing then because the sturgeons take away from the time you're catching catfish. Five and two. Okay, let's get two. Keep reeling and reduce it to. Put it back down. Ooh, I might have lost that one. Five. Yeah, they waited too long for that one. supposed to I didn't hey some you win some you lose some get rained out and in that Russian fishing four sometimes you get the bear and sometimes the bear gets you <laughs> oh me I kept dying that game the bear get me or I'd walk off a pier or walk off a cliff jump into water and die Too many of you ever forgot how to keep the fish. Too many of you ever forgot how to cast. I went through the tutorial. But it was uh, written by people that knew the game, I guess. Did you give up on me? Yes, you did. Two hundred and fifty pounds a half an hour, that's not too bad. Push my glasses down on my nose. I 
like when rod bowed like that. When I fish here below the dam near my house. Mm -mm -mm. I like it. When you pull on the fish and that fish pulls back, oh yeah. That's a good feeling, good feeling. Did they nerf in California? have to go to California and find out if they mess up the sturgeon fishing. At least that's sturgeon and carp, so I'll have to find out. It would only figure now that I finally figure something out that, that would change it. Oh, me. Best laid plans. I think when I do this peak, I'll just go to California and see, find out what's going on. Because Gandalf and I spent several peaks over there the other day trying to figure things out. We thought we figured it out. But if they change it, that was, it was fun, but it was effort wasted. But I'll find out. Doesn't matter. Just a game. Play it and have fun. If you ain't having fun, find something else. Got my second monitor set up there for chat, streaming chat, but it don't do much good if I can't connect. That's okay, it'll all work out in the end. Just a fishing. There we go. Yeah, 
How about that? Nice one. Thank you. Be nice if this was a uni. That'd be three in a row. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I say? kind of filled the net up in a hurry, didn't it? Yeah. If I get it a 50 pound, now I'd have to have another uni to fill it up now. Two is the only one that didn't hook up a uni. Blue sky, do I see nothing but blue skies waiting for me? Do do do. Well, we're getting close to the end of filling this net, so thank you all for watching. Uh, good luck, tight lines, watch some of our videos, maybe pick up a tip to help you catch more and bigger fish. That's what I do. I watch other people's videos. You never know. Just one little thing make all the difference whether you catch a particular kind of fish or not. So, good luck, tight lines, and as always, God bless you and your family. Have fun, be safe, catch lots of fish, catch lots of big fish, and uh, I'll catch you out here later. So, come back now. Y'all here? Bye.